In this video we'll uh, calculate the area inside a loop <coughs> using Excel. The area inside this loop um, has got two parts. This is a positive area because it overlaps itself and goes back at a negative area. So the total area would be um, that area take away that area. So it's that, take away that, it's the total area. And I'll show you how to do that using Excel. See, let's get rid of that one. And um, <coughs> we'll start with a simple circle. And uh, uh, we'll, I'll show you that it works for this. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area is pi. Here the radius is 1. So it's times 1 squared. So the area of this particular circle is just pi. So we should get an answer of 3.14 if it works. <coughs> um, so let's pretend that we know uh, 8 points around the circumference. That's the first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, sixth point, eighth the uh, seventh point and that's the eighth point so we've got eight points that define that area um, now we'll represent the area just by drawing straight lines between them so this is the area that we're trying to calculate so the area of this will be slightly less than pi if, uh, so we should get an answer less than a bit less than 3.14 the angles here um, are, so it's every 45 degrees we have a point. So let's build that in Excel. The centre is 2, 2, and the radius is. So now we've moved to Excel, um, and we'll start off by putting in the points at every 45 degrees to complete the circle. Okay, so here we've gone up to. Um, 360 degrees. Uh, let's quickly convert that to radians. So that's equal to that times pi divided by 180. Excel works in radians, not degrees. So the x value um, on this, the x value for this point here is 2 take away uh, the cosine of uh, 0. So that's equal to 2, take away, cosine of the radian. Copy that down. And that's the x value done. And this should be 2 plus the sine of the, the radians. So is that right? Yeah. So the, the value for this one um, is uh, 1, 2. Value for that one is 2, 3. So let's just check that. That's the first point and that's the third point. So it's 1, 2 and there's the third point, 2, 3. So that's working. So we've got these points here, um, and now uh, let's work out the area inside that loop. So we need a column here for the delta areas, the little areas inside each trapezoid, each trapezoidal uh, section. Uh, what do I mean by that? Um, we're going to work out this area inside here. So that's the width up there, along there, down there. That's one whole area. The second area will be this one. Across, down, back along and up. The third area is this one. Back and up, back up. The fourth area will be that. So from here to there, down to the bottom, along, back up. And then we've got some negative areas 
um, down here as we come back along. I hope that's uh, fairly clear. So that'll be a positive area. Positive, 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 negative, 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 negative. By adding the whole lot together, uh, we should get the answer. So we'll start off with zero <coughs> because we need four points to give a point, to give an area. And the area here is half times the sum of the heights, which is the average height, times the width, which is that. Take away that. Add them. Drag it down. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. Add the whole lot up. And that's the answer. So let's just put a box around that. That then. 2.1, 2.82. So it's a bit less than 3.14 because of all these bits that are uh, not being added. See the bits in yellow. So that is how to do digital integration.